Guardians of the Galaxy 2 trailer just hit, and we've got all the baby group size details you may have missed on today's Nerdist News. Break out your Walkmans and crank up your favorite classic rock tunes, because Marvel just unleashed its first trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and it's got us all hooked on a feeling. The feeling that this movie is going to be absolutely f***ing epic. More space battles, more space banter, and an adorable new space jacket for Baby Groot. Aww. At a very brief 1 minute and 26 seconds, this teaser packs in so much coolness that Volume 2 just shot up to the top of our list of 2017 must-sees. But if you're still jonesing for more Guardians goodies, don't freak. The new trailer is actually jam-packed with revealing details that you may have glanced over on your first viewing. So strap in as we break down everything you may have missed in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 trailer. First up, we have Tentacle Monsters! And no, I'm not talking about the hentai Dan Casey hides in that secret compartment under his desk that I keep borrowing. I'm talking about this dude! This Cthulhu-rific concept art was first revealed in an issue of Empire Magazine way back in April, but now we get to see the Octo Beastie, which is called an Abelisk, according to James Gunn, in action for the first time, and no, we're not going crazy. This thing is definitely in the trailer, or at least parts of it are. Check out this shot of Gamora running, then leaping into battle at the 25 second mark. Look closely and you'll notice that ramp she's charging up is wriggling. Because that's no ramp! That's a tentacle! We can even see one in the background. The platform in this shot also matches up with the platform we see Star-Lord blast off from at the 32 second mark. Obviously these are both part of the same scene, the jetpack assisted obelisk assault teased in the concept art. In the Empire article, Gunn mentioned that this scene would take place towards the beginning of Volume 2, so now we know exactly what to look forward to in the early stages of the film. Now even though we don't see the rest of the Guardians in this scene, if the concept art is to be believed, they'll all be crucial to taking down this tentacle terror. But judging by the rest of the teaser, there may well be a team breakup shortly thereafter. See, the rest of the scenes are split between Groot, Rocket, and Yondu teamed up in some kind of prison while Star-Lord, Drax, and Gamora hang out on the ship and explore a cool new planet, but never all of them together. So what could this possibly mean? Let's start with Rocket and Yondu. These two bounty hunters seem to have developed some mutual appreciation for one another and have teamed up for their own mission separate from the rest of the Guardians. It's hard to say exactly what they're up to from the little that we see here, but based on their track records, we're guessing that it's not exactly virtuous, as you can see in this shot where he and Yondu stroll leisurely past a group of floating guards. You can also see Yondu's Yaka arrow zipping through the air in this shot, and if you look closely, you'll also see it in the final shot of the trailer as Rocket blasts through a stone wall. So what exactly are Rocket and Yondu trying to get at behind that wall? Could this be a heist or perhaps a prison break? Well, thanks to this super angsty black and white poster released in conjunction with the trailer, we now know that Nebula officially joins the Guardians in Volume 2. Combine that knowledge with this shot of her getting a bag removed from her head, and a story starts to emerge. It looks like Nebula will be in captivity at the beginning of the film, and she'll need a little help escaping. Maybe some help from a few bounty hunting bad boys. One small and furry, one tall and blue. Oh, and Groot too, of course. We're not sure how much Groot can do on this mission, other than look super cute in his brand new jacket, but honestly, that's more than enough for our money. But wait a minute, where's Ego? You know, the biggest addition to the Guardian sequel, Star-Lord's planet-sized papa, Kurt f***ing Russell. We didn't see him pop up in the teaser at all. Or did we? We're guessing, ooh. We're guessing that tree-covered plant. <laughs> You almost fell. Sorry. <laughs> We're guessing that tree-covered planet Star-Lord, Gamora, and Drax explore is, in fact, Ego himself. And it looks like Peter Quill's gonna have a pretty violent homecoming. Check out the Crash Milano behind the three as they head out to explore this strange new world. Does Ego have them swatted down from the sky? Judging by the sweater Star-Lord's rocking under that duster, we're guessing that shot of him wildly piloting the Milano is from moments before, which would mean his mopey hug with Drax takes place shortly before the crash, and worth noting, seems like that big blue Ravager explosion takes place on Ego 2, at least judging by the trees. So what's going on here? Does Star-Lord take a skeleton crew to find his dad while Rocket and Groot meet up with Yondu for some additional intel? Or do they really abandon the group on purpose? Will Rocket and friends be the ones who meet the film's big bad Aisha, forcing Ego to begrudgingly team up with his baby boy's super team? Well, what do you guys think? Do you dig the Guardians 2 teaser? What do you think is going on in these short scene snippets? Where the hell is Howard the Duck? Let's discuss.
Join us over at Nerdist.com slash Twitch today live for Nerdist News Talks. Back, we're talking Guardians, we're talking Pokemon, we're talking a new Willy Wonka movie. Yay. Yes, we are. Dan Casey has a banging new Dan Cave. It's everything that you need to know about Iron Fist. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to keep getting all your Nerdist news.